Ich bin hier backstage beim Lollapalooza mit Rosier. Hey. Hello. Good uh, to have you here. Yeah, you, thank you very much. Glad to be here. I heard it's the first interview today. It is my first interview yeah. today, yeah. Yeah. That's totally. good, because I always think of if you like if you're doing like three or four interviews in a row mm -hmm. and then I'm like the fifth or the sixth. Yeah, thing. yeah, so I'm not I'm not spent out just yet. No, but it's yeah, yeah totally. All good. So I just did the introduction in German. Mm -hmm. I guess you didn't understand it. I had a fair I had a fair idea. I had yeah. you know somewhat. But do you speak other languages than English? Um Yeah, so I would have studied in school. I studied French, and but the first language you study in Ireland, in Ireland, I'm from Ireland, um, is the Irish language. So, oh yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, so I would have I would have better Irish than I would French, or yeah. And if you could, like, just imagine you could uh, wake up tomorrow mm -hmm. and you speak another language. Yes. What would it be? It would be German. Really? Well, I would like to learn German at some point. I'd love to spend some time in Berlin. But um no, I've always I've always wanted to go back and learn Spanish and brush up on French again. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of this. Yeah. So if you could wake up tomorrow and the world would have solved one problem society would have in their minds, what problem would that be? Um I would say now, um it it would be It would have to be the the uh, the heating of of the earth, so global warming or or and, and climate change, etc. So, um, yeah, if there was just billions and billions more trees or something like yeah. that, or some way to kind of to stem the the kind of the heating of the of the earth, I think that would be that would be nice because then all else can follow, you know, all else can be figured out after that. That that's a good point. I thought about global warming, but. You're right because that's like the thing we have to change. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like it would be awesome to change people's minds to understand that you can love whoever you yeah, want to love. Yeah, there's and there's stuff. world peace yet to yeah. yet to be <laughs> and and kind of peace and love. But I think all of those fall by the wayside if there is no if the ecology collapses. Yeah. You know, if there is no habitat whatsoever. So, um, yeah, that that would, that would be. be right now. That would be yeah. first. And I'm asking you because you are doing like protest songs. Right? So yeah, you might say you might say that you could say that. But you don't really say that. I don't really no, no, not so much. Um, I don't know. I think I think a, a protest song is is um, I don't know. It depends. It depends. It's, it's semantics and it's it's how you how you want to name it. But um, there's themes in the work that there's themes in the songs that that like relate to maybe um, real world stuff or or um, but to me that's just. Uh, That's just uh, trying to be honest in the work, you know. I, I I don't think I don't think there's a difference between political music and non-political music. I think everything has a, a political dimension. So, what's deemed a protest song is just I think a matter of opinion, you know. And then it's a matter of not the musician saying it's protest song, but the society how they. Yeah, I think maybe I think maybe the listener decides whether it whether it charges them with a feeling of protest or whether it contributes to um it's, it's a certain element of, of of protest or maybe it's decided retrospectively mm -hmm. or it's decided after the fact years later whether it whether it um it was definitive of a, of a some form of protest or you know, I don't know. And that's kind of what happened to your song Take Me to Church. Which like everyone knows and heard that, yeah. but it came out earlier, yeah. and then the big breakthrough came in 2014, right when the yeah. video came out. Yeah, I think it was. I think we released it in late 2013, and uh, at home. And it, like initially, it was like a free download. Like it was like a very very small kind of release, and then it it kind of snowballed, and the video. Uh, it was a big part of of it, kind of getting into hearts and minds, and and it just grew and grew, and um, yeah, I mean, you could call it a protest song, but I mean, for me, it was just trying to air air some grievances, you know, and um, so yeah. You've been on tour this year again. Yes. After you worked on your new album, which came out in March, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So how is touring again? Yeah, year? it's been fun. Yeah. So I mean, we did a few shows before Christmas when I had released like an EP, and then the album dropped in March. I've been on the road since, really. So um, it's been it's been great. This is really really nice tour touring across Europe. So mm -hmm. it's we spent a long time doing shows across America, which was super cool and and a lot of great support there but being kind of closer to home and being back on uh, back on european soil is is like 
is is a good feeling i yeah. gotta say so yeah we're really enjoying it yeah. and do you see a difference in like the the crowd oh yeah hands down yeah there's a huge yeah. very big difference yeah so and it even even between let's say doing a show in in a show in Poland is very different from doing a show in Germany, from doing a show in Italy or Spain yeah. or France or London. What are the differences? If you can it, say it. it's more. It's just how how people listen to the listen to the work or at least express themselves mm -hmm. as they're listening to the, to the work. So in America, it's people. They're very immediate to make noise. Uh, if if you do something that they like, mid song, mid solo, or mid vocal run, that you could hear a cheer or you could hear the crowd uh, go up. You know. Um, I think, and then it depends. So you you might be in um, there's certain certain European uh, like c countries where people are more they're they're more they're just they're just listening intently yeah. and it's very polite and they're very kind of quiet, which at first you you wonder okay people hate this <laughs> and then by the end but they give everything at the end of the mm -hmm. song as opposed to in the middle of the song you know, um, so it's it's different and that make that keeps it interesting keeps it keeps it fun. And is there something you like more, or is it just different? It's just different. Yeah, I don't. I think because if you're if you spend one, what's nice about touring, if you spend, I wouldn't say too much time, but like, it, it would get it would get repetitive if it was the same every mm -hmm. night. So it's nice to have a crowd that's a little bit different. And or sometimes you hear a chant, or or they clap in a rhythm that you're not used to. Or at the end of a song, you hear a, a chant or a stomp or a clap that like takes you by surprise. And for a moment, you're you're wondering, okay, is this is this a good thing or a very very <laughs> bad thing? So that that can that just keeps it keeps it interesting, you know. I mean, which shows do you get to know the city? And it depends. If I have a day off before the show, um, I would go for a walk and and try try to even just check out something, yeah. you know. Um, it doesn't happen all that often, so. So it depends. It depends on the on the scheduling. It depends on the tour. But if I can, I, I do go for a walk and try and check out check out what's out there. You yeah. know, no, I don't get to do it that often. Yeah. yeah. But then it must be hard because I think if you have one day off, you could go out and see the city, but you could also just lay in bed and get rest. That's that's it as well too. So that is a, a big draw. So yeah. that's 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 a hard fight to fight. Sometimes when you know you could just have a quiet day, so yeah, you see how you see how you're going. And you Do you miss your quiet days? Um, yeah, I mean, like, who doesn't enjoy them? But we get, you know, we we do maybe maybe five shows a week, four or five shows a week. Okay. And there's the I've, light. I've been exposed. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, we get it. So you you know we have we enjoy the days off when we get them. Yeah, it's nice and quiet. But. It's fun. I, d I, d I have a, I have a fun job, you know, so it, it makes it makes it easy. Yeah, you're just you're doing something you're loving. And yeah. You get paid for that. I make like, I make noises for a living. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's pretty wild. I don't know how I get away with it. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, same to me. I can talk to you. We're both getting paid yeah. for this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. We're yeah. just blessed. Yeah. Like, very 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 good. Have you played a lot of Palooza before? Um, have we played a lot? Of, uh, I have not in Berlin. No, not in not in Berlin. It's not a Palooza. No. Mm -hmm. um, so this is my first time. Yeah. And have you seen the uh, festival, or did you just came? I passed by. I passed by the stage on the way here, which the, there's people I party in pretty early. It's yeah. great. Yeah, there's people <laughs> raving like. It's Berlin. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> I'm amazed. I'm, I'm, yeah, and it's I, a very colorful festival. Like you have lots of things to do, and mm -hmm. like it's it's. I think it's very different to to other. Festival. It seems it seems that you know I've definitely have not seen people raving as early as this. So this is like <laughs> this is great, yeah. And are you going to watch some shows after you've played? If I can, I believe Kings of Leon play at about 9 p.m. tonight. So if if I can, I'd love to check that out. That's on your schedule. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was you. Uh, great talking to you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank and you. Another wonderful interview. No, four. Three. A few. A few. Three, three or four. Yeah. A couple. We'll Everything's going to be, be great. It's going to be great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you.